What is genetics? The key word from genetics, genes. So genetics therefore can be defined as the study of genes. And so there's another important question, which is, what are genes? Well, it's quite easy actually. Genes are sections of the DNA that code for amino acid. We could say that genes are functional regions of the DNA. You need to understand that it's not all the parts of the DNA that are actually functional. Only the functional ones are called genes. So we said that genetics is a study of genes and then genes themselves are functional regions of the DNA. So genetics is the study of the coding or functional regions of the DNA. Why do scientists study genes? Number one, to know their composition. Two, to know how they are decoded. Then the third reason is that scientists study genes to know how they are conserved and also to know how they are transformed to the next generation. Now, before scientists can understand how they are transferred, they need to understand how they are replicated and how they mix up to cause variation. Genetics is therefore defined as a study of heredity and variation. Now we have two definitions for genetics. We already know that genetics can be defined as the study of genes. We also know now that genetics is the study of heredity and variation. But are they different from one another? Please take a look at these two definitions. What do you think? Do you think they are the same? Do you think they are related? So that brings us automatically to your first task for today. Your first assignment is to write the differences or and the similarities between these two definitions and explain how they relate to biology. Please, you must do this assignment in your notes or better stay, print it out. Then, heredity itself can be defined as a transfer of traits from parents to offspring. Look at these plants producing seeds and then producing a progeny you will discover that it has transferred a particular trait, which is the red pertar color trait to the progeny or the offspring. For scientists to understand what causes this particular transfer of traits, they still need to study the genes of the parents and compare it with the genes of the offspring. Now, variation. Variations are basically the differences among species, whether they are related or not. You can see the variation between these two cuts. Before scientists can also understand what causes variations, they still need to understand the genes and study them. So in the end, we can conclude by saying genetics is still the study of genes. It studies everything about the genes, the gene structure, composition, regulation and expression, genetic inheritance, genetic variation. To say that genetics is the study of hereditary and variation alone is limiting the ideation or concepts of genetics. So you understand now that genetics is basically the study of the entirety of the functional genes and how they are transferred to the next generation. All right, now take a look at all these websites. What do you think makes websites different from one another? Even though you are looking at different websites on the internet, why do you think they are different from one another? What makes up these websites? Do you think they are the same? Think about it. The answer is actually easy. Can you answer all these questions? Yes, the answer is codes. As simple as that. It's codes that build websites. Scientists or computer scientists rather can use codes to build websites. So if you understand that websites run by codes, you will also understand that every living species on the earth runs also by codes. But not just any codes, DNA codes. It's very important for you to establish that particular fact. So we could say that coding is to computer science as genetics is to biology. And so that brings us to your tax too. You need to tell me the difference between genomics and genetics. Are they related? Are they different? So in the course of this particular genetics course, we are going to look at all these outlines listed here. 
in your task 3, you are expected to print out the genetic code. And that is all for our class today. Thank you. Thank you.